Hello and welcome to One Minute Maya. In this lesson I'm going to show you how to make file and gather maps within Maya. This technique will significantly reduce your render times but this technique can't be used on moving objects, only static objects so it's perfect for turnarounds of assets or characters. As you can see I'm rendering out my asset it's calculating the file and gather before it's actually rendering the actual asset. What we plan to do is bake the file and gather information so that it doesn't have to rebuild each time we want to render. So that took approximately 2 minutes and 42 seconds. We'll save an image for comparison later. To begin baking your file and gather maps, it's going to your render settings, go to indirect lighting and scroll down to file and gather, file and gathering maps. Turn rebuild to off. and name your file and gather map. And enable map visualizer. Next step, go to features and turn in the rendering mode to file and gather only. So now if we take a render, it will just render the file and gather, it won't render anything else. It's finished. As you can see, there's points all over my asset. These are the final gather points, and you can notice around the other side there's none, and that's because the camera couldn't see it. So what we have to do is position it to that side and take another render. This will add to the existing points already on the map. So take as many renders as you want, and it'll just keep adding onto that map. So I'll take one from the top. And that should be done. Okay, next step is to go to indirect lighting and then turn the rebuild to freeze. Setting it to freeze will stop building the final gather points and use the map that we've created. Go back to features and turn render mode back to normal. If, you, if we take another render, as you can see, it's not rendering the final gather anymore. It's using our map. And it should render considerably faster. As you can see, this one only took 2 minutes and 2 seconds, so we've shaved off 40 seconds. This may not seem like a lot, but when you're rendering out 250 frames, it'll save you approximately 3 hours from your total render time, which is well worth doing. Next I'll show you what happens when you move an object when you've got a final gather map. So if I move it to the left here, as you can see the points remain where they are, so we've baked them. If you take another render, you might not be able to see it on your screens, but I can see a shadow that's left behind and the shadow that should be on the asset as well are gone. So just bear in mind that you can't use file and gather maps on animated objects. 